What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So this video is going to be a little unique for my channel. Um, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm basically going to be comparing my routine as a professional footballer here in America for FC Tulsa in the USL Championship to another professional footballer and YouTuber, William Accio, who's playing for Valor FC in the CPL or the First Division of Canada, the Canadian Premier League. So the goal of this video is to kind of compare and contrast our different days to give you more of an insight into uh, the life of a pro. So really excited to team up with William Accio, guys. If you haven't checked out his channel, um, you guys are probably living under a rock right now on YouTube. He's kind of like everywhere on YouTube right now. So go check out William. He will be in the description, his link to his channel. And also go follow him on Instagram and kind of follow along with his career as uh, he starts his first professional season up in Canada. So welcome to the video, guys. What's up YouTube, William Mackey, back with another video. Man, guys, this is a massive video. Shout out to you, Matt Sheldon, for having me on your channel, you know, featuring me on your channel and just giving me this opportunity of a lifetime to collab with you. I've been wanting to do this collab since I started a year ago. Um, you know, I've been a huge fan of you watching all your videos and, you know, you've inspired me alongside some other YouTubers and, you know, pursuing this and talking about my journey and talking about my path to professional soccer. For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is William Accio. Um, I recently just signed pro for Valor FC in the CPL. Uh, I'm an alumni at UTRGV. I played college there for three years. And yeah, man, this is going to be an amazing video. I'm going to take you guys along my day today of a training day, show you guys the facility, show you guys kind of the little things I like to do to prepare what I eat and all that good stuff. So thanks again, Matt. Please make sure you guys like and subscribe to this video. This is going to be huge, man. I'm forever grateful. Let's go. Guys, this is gonna be my breakfast basically just some oatmeal here a little bit of brown sugar um, some supplements here vitamin B complex and then 1.75 liter of water so I'm not actually a big fan of breakfast as you can see um, I don't eat quite a lot I know a lot of people eat more um, but it's just what I feel comfortable with with my body um, I'll eat a very light breakfast sometimes no breakfast at all and then I'll go into a nice lunch and then a nice dinner at the end of the day but as I eat this, um, I kind of just want to talk about uh, the transition from being a student athlete to, you know, moving into the professional game on and off the field. Honestly, the transition has been pretty smooth. Um, in the beginning, obviously, it was a lot to kind of change everything, move out and all that stuff. But now that I'm here, um, the difference I can clearly see from being a student athlete and a pro, off the field at least, is that what you do, like off the field, what you do when you're not training, when you're not playing, it really does matter at the professional level um, because it's those little details that's really going to progress you, that's going to make you, you know, into a great player. So, for example, when I was a student athlete and, you know, I wake up, uh, I'd have so much more time than I do now. Um, I would have to go training in the morning. I would have to be at the facility for five, six hours because I have to juggle school as well. So it was evenly split between school and playing. But now that I'm here, um, I know that this is my job. I got to wake up. I got to do all the right things necessary in order for me to stay healthy, in order for me to you know, progress into being the best player that I can be. Another difference on the field as a pro, um, people are there to work, man. The mentality is completely different. The second you step foot on the pitch or in the facility, everyone's locked in, everyone's ready to go because we're all fighting. We're all fighting to play, you know, only 11 people get to play. And uh, you can see the difference in mentality there. In college, it was different because, you know, some guys played for fun, some guys didn't really care. They were just there for their friends. So it was more lackadaisical. But uh, over here, it's no joke at the pro level. And I know, Matt, it's probably the same for you. You gotta make sure you do the right things necessary in order for you to play, right? But those are just some little differences right now that I can see. I know as my years, months, whatever progress as a professional player, I'm gonna start to notice more, I'm gonna start to learn more. And it's exciting. Um, I've been loving the transition. I'm, I'm very happy and I'm just gonna enjoy the journey as much as I can.
breakfast today is like the Matt Sheldon, the typical Matt Sheldon breakfast. I got a handful of strawberries, an orange, three eggs over schmedium, and then I got uh, a little latte. Usually I would also have a little thing of Greek yogurt, but I checked the refrigerator and I guess I ate my last one uh, yesterday. So no Greek yogurt this morning. Okay, so 8.30 in the morning right now. Um, for the next 15 minutes, I kind of just chill on the couch. I get comfy under my blanket, have some coffee, and I kind of just uh, uh, do a little bit of Become Elite work. This isn't really like actual video editing or anything. I just kind of browse through my emails to see if I got any important emails over the night. I go through my DMs real quick. I read any comments on any YouTube videos that I, I've posted recently just to kind of get a feel of what's been going on with social media and uh, that I might post to Instagram as well. So that's what I do right now. I can just kind of prepare for the day, do a little bit of work, and then at 8.45, I'm out the door, headed to trading. And guys, um, another thing that I've implemented in my you know, morning routine, especially now that I've transitioned to a pro, is things like this, rolling out the balls of my feet, stretching my ankles, little things like that, because the training is very intense, and you know, I'm a forward, I have to run a lot, so I gotta make sure I'm taking care of my body as best possible. All right guys, I've done everything that I've had to do this morning. Now I'm ready, just waiting on my roommate, and we're gonna head out to the training facility, so let's go. All right guys, it's about, 8.30 right now, and now we're gonna be heading over to the training facility. I'm with my boy here, Moses Dyer, baller midfielder. From New Zealand. From the Kiwi Six. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's a good player. He's been helping me out a lot through my transition over here. He's been really nice to me, and just kind of showing me around. Anything you gotta say? I have no idea, it's well. <laughs> <laughs> Same, bro. Big time. What are you day. <laughs> you know, another day for training. <laughs> so up and early. I get to see my friend, you know. <laughs> Let's get this hat. Come on, bro. Drive, no, move, 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 move. Great call. Drive day? Drive day, yeah. Yeah, say less. Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, Toronto, hey, bro. Hey, 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 Montreal is better, bro. Hey, 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 Rico, the <laughs> bad man. You're crazy. Just getting a little braid up, you know what I'm saying? So up. All right, guys, I'm at the facility, changed, and every Tuesday and Thursday, we have to get a rapid COVID test. It's still not as pleasant as the regular test, but it's a lot faster, five quick swabs in each nose, and we get the results right away. Time for this COVID testing, man. You take this thing, put it in one nose, five spins, put it in the other nose, and then you're done. All right, so here's our gym for pre-act, before the field activities, and also after. Got a bunch of stuff here. So I'm actually was wearing the wrong kit, wearing black today, but I'm gonna do my nice little workout session before the field. I'm gonna catch with you guys outside. Guys are just doing individual stuff right now, but I'm just waiting for us to stretch. It was a good session. All right, guys, I just finished my training session. It was good. Um, lots of shooting, lots of dribbling. Intensity was there, you know, at this level. Intensity is always has to be 100% or else 
I know you might lose your spot, but it was good, very positive. Now I'm gonna go into my stretching routine that I like to do after trainings, and I'm gonna show you guys what it is. All right, guys, just finished the training session for today. It was really good. It was about an hour, hour and 15 minutes with some individual um, stuff at the end that we could do. But um, it was really good, man. We're getting close to the season. Tomorrow we have an inner squad, so it was a bit lighter today. But, um, you know, the transition, the difference between our trainings in college and our trainings now is just the intensity, man. This intensity, speed of play, the technical ability that everyone has to have. Um, you know, you come here, sometimes you got knocks, you got little hits and bruises and stuff but you got to play through it man you got to be a warrior and you got to fight so that's one thing that uh over here at the pro level uh, you got to really focus on you just got to put in the work and it's all here it's all mental that's something that people need to understand the game is mental you might be feeling hurt you might be feeling down but you got to just find it within and you got to be able to push through it but yeah that's it for today's session i'm gonna go home now i'm gonna make myself a little smoothie make myself a little lunch and then i'm gonna talk to you guys later so let's go just like, you know. Hi, what's how, up, people? How was training today? Training was amazing. I trained hard. We're going to game tomorrow. Let's get it, boys. Let's get it, baby. Okay, 8.45, headed out to uh, to training right now. We're actually training at the stadium because this is the day before a game. We play Louisville City tomorrow night at 7.30 at night. So um, we usually like to get used to the surface before a game. And since we train on turf at our normal training facilities, uh, the day before a game, we like to just go to the stadium, get on the grass, get used to it, get used to that surface, and uh, just prepare for the game. So headed there, gonna be a little bit different, a little bit different journey, but uh, still same old training, same old everything else. Fifteen in the afternoon right now. Um, we just finished training. We had like a little film session before the actual training session. We kind of all got in there, watched video of Louisville since we play them tomorrow. Um, watched them, they're defending, watched their attacking, their set pieces, just kind of like really studied them, talked about how we want to attack and how we want to defend them. So overall that film session took about 30 minutes. And then we went outside, did a light training session before the game, some passing patterns, some rondos, and then just walked through again um, how we want to defend and how we want to attack against Louisville. So pretty good. Um, now I am going to head home and then I gotta do a few errands like go grocery shopping and uh, get some gas just so I don't have anything to do on game day because I don't like to be running around doing errands on game day. So. Now I gotta head home. I love when we train at the stadium because it is five minutes away from my apartment. So that's pretty nice. Alright guys, I'm back home. Right now I'm just gonna make myself a little shake, protein shake uh, by Body Logics. And then I'm gonna walk over to Subway, grab myself a little bit of a lunch, and then I'm gonna come back. So let's get it! Shake. Uh, we actually drank this 
uh, 30 minutes, in between 30 minutes an hour after training session, just so we, we can recover and recoup all the nutrients that we lost. All right, guys, here's my lunch. I got some Subway. I got the sweet chicken teriyaki, and I'm also gonna have another 1.75 liter of water to go with it. So after I'm done eating, um, I'm gonna just chill out, watch a few games. Um, there's the England game that's gonna be on, and then later, there's also the Argentina versus Uruguay game. So those are gonna be some really good games to watch. Betting, bro. Stop betting, bro. Losing too much money, man. <laughs> a video if you don't know if the coochie's in there in the first place. So right in the beginning. It is Mimi's mom's very last day of being a worker. <laughs> I don't know how to phrase it. <laughs> she retires today. She retires today. So Mimi's mom is retiring today from being a, uh, a kindergarten teacher. She's been a teacher for 30 I years. I think like 30 years. This is Mimi. So if, if it's not been 30 years, you can get mad at Mimi. So Diana, if you're watching this, congrats. I hope you enjoy retirement. And uh, yeah, I hope it's just retirement's filled with gardening and animals. And more gardening. And more gardening. So <laughs> very, very happy for you. Snack attack. Kids section. This is not the kids section, you dork. Why is it a rabbit? Uh, can't start it without the time. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing a. Uh, this is actually a vlog where it's like collabed with another YouTuber, William Accio. He plays pro up in Canada. So we're doing like showing our days and showing the times, like comparing. So oh. this it's, it's important I show the time, Mimi. Oh, the one time it matters, actually. So 2.22 in the afternoon, I'm having some cantaloupe, having some watermelon we just bought, and then I got my adult Annie's snack mix. Mimi thinks this is for kids. It's just a snack mix. And Mimi, shaped like bunnies. It's not, there's only a few that are shaped like bunnies. You got <laughs> Cheez-Its and, and pretzels and stuff in here as well. So this is my snack. Uh, Mimi's watching Downton Abbey, so I'm for sure gonna take a nap we right now. We are watching. We are not watching Downton Abbey. You told me five seconds of what was happening in the show, and it sounded very lame. Mimi's mad at me. <laughs> I can, can oh, you, like Rick and Morty is so much better. It is it's more quality much. television. It is way more. It's way better. Okay. So. I wanted to say thank you again so much for coming on and we can't wait to see you um, play for Valor because like I said before, you're an amazing player, you're fast, you put balls in the back of the net and I think that Valor just had an amazing player. So yeah. Great. And yeah. we're really excited to see you play. I mean, I was so excited when I heard that you got signed by uh, Valor and we'll be watching you in the, in the CPL. That's going to be a lot of fun. And again, congratulations on that. Congratulations on your graduation on uh the Chelsea uh, winning the Champions League yeah, yeah YouTube. Chelsea, <laughs> YouTube everything um you're killing it and um yeah so people watching this uh if they want to learn about how to make it as a professional soccer player obviously you want to follow uh William Accio and uh he's gonna you know got a wealth of information on his on his channel yeah, all right well, well thanks William thanks so much um and good luck on your season All right, guys, here's the finished result. I got my chicken here, seasoned in lemon pepper and seasoned salt and garlic. And then I have here my mashed potatoes. And then I have some rice there. And then I'm gonna have it with 
a little bit of sweet baby rays, honey barbecue sauce, and then once again, 1.75 liter of water. I try to drink at least two or three of these a day, especially if I'm training. And yeah. Jack, guys, it is around 9 p.m. right now. This is my last meal of the day, and then I'm obviously gonna crash and go to sleep. But uh, it's very important that I have salt in uh, my meals because after training, you, you, get, you lose a lot of salt, so you're gonna need to recoup all that salt back. But yeah, big meal. Uh, I don't know if I'll finish this whole plate. I might uh, save a little bit of leftovers for like a midnight snack or something. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this, eat this up, and then I'm gonna talk to you guys before I finish this vlog. All right, guys, I'm stuffed. Man, that was a good meal. It was a really good day, positive. Um, training was really good and now yeah, it's gonna complete the rest of my day but yeah before i ended off here i kind of wanted to just talk about this whole experience you know being a first-time professional um i'm really excited honestly this is like something that i've always wanted and now that i'm here i can definitely see you know why being a professional is so amazing man the jump is just incredible um you know just living like a pro being treated like a pro making money off of it is like something that i've always wanted and you know now that i'm here it's surreal um, I know that I have to work really, really hard. You know, when I compare it to being back in college to now, uh, the amount of work you gotta put in is tenfold. You gotta go so much harder. You know, when I was done training, I, could, I had so much time to chill. But now that I'm here, you know, once I'm done training, the first thing you gotta focus on is recovery. You gotta focus on recovery, staying healthy to make sure that you can come back 24 hours again, the next training session, and just repeat, repeat, repeat. So that's been a big thing as well. Um, I don't have a lot more free time as I did before when I was in college, you know, cause now I have to do editing. I gotta come back home. I gotta make sure I'm getting my proper rest. You know, I don't have to worry about homework that much, but you know, I still have to really focus on my body, really focus on the rest I'm getting. But yeah, with all that being said, um, a big thing with my YouTube channel is now that I have a time stable. So I have certain times where I have to record. I gotta make sure that I'm recording videos ahead and I'm planning everything out. So I'm not editing till two, three a.m. in the morning like I used to when I was in college. But all in all, everything just bumps up, man. From the college to the pro level, everything just bumps up more. So you gotta make sure you're doing more yourself. But I'm happy, man. This is really good. I'm, hopefully I can continue being pro for as long as I can and continue balancing on my YouTube channel as well. But yeah, I'm in a good position. I'm happy. I'm gonna be working hard, I'm gonna stay healthy, and I'm gonna try to just give you guys the best content that I can moving forward. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today's training session vlog. Thank you again so much, Matt, for giving me this opportunity to, you know, feature myself on your channel and, you know, show the kids, you know, what I got and what I can do. This means so much to me, and this is a video I'm never gonna forget. So thank you again so much, bro. And yeah, that's gonna be basically it, guys. Please make sure you guys like and subscribe this video. Subscribe to both of our channels. Shout out to you, Matt, and I'm gonna catch you guys next time. Peace. last four hours I've just been working on that game analysis video from like four o'clock in the afternoon until now and it's eight o'clock at night just been working 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 editing it all up doing all the extra stuff the voiceover editing up the thumbnail getting it all uploaded to YouTube it's all ready for tomorrow now but that's you know four hours later uh, now Mimi and I are cooking up Mimi's world famous turkey skillet which is literally just a bunch of of veggies like bell peppers, mushrooms, onions, and ground turkey, and white rice. So extremely healthy meal, good carbs, good protein, good fats. Uh, should be a good meal for tomorrow. We'll probably end up eating around 8.40, 8.45, and then watch maybe a short documentary, a few episodes of uh, a TV show or something, and then go to bed. So I'll keep you guys updated, but I'm pretty much all done with work and all the boring stuff for the day. Now I can finally relax. And here's dinner. Doesn't look the most exciting, but it tastes really good. We That's also what had, she said. <laughs> we also had a huge like dollop of guacamole on here. So a glass of water, turkey skillet bowl thingy, and uh, we'll throw something on TV and watch something here yeah, soon. My favorite thing about the challenge is the community's face. So, so in this series, I'll show what makes villages unique and learn about their past, present, and their future. It's like they made this for me. <laughs> right, it's 11 o'clock at night. I'm just about ready to turn off the lights and go to bed. Uh, I can sleep in for as long as I want tomorrow, pretty much since it's game day. So the goal is to get about like nine hours of sleep. So 
I'll probably wake up around 8 a.m. tomorrow and it'll be perfect. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed the, the contrast and comparison between my day in the life as well as William Accio's uh, day in the life. Be sure once again to go check his channel out. Go check out him out on social media and uh, follow him as he progresses through his career and, and has his first professional season with Valor FC. I'm rooting for him. It's going to be really exciting to follow his career and everything. So. Uh, pumped to do this this collab last thing if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to hit the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video all right guys peace and good night